We're now going to hear um, three more stories briefly of, of transformation from parish members so that you would hear some of us, you know, you know, voices from the pew about what, what's been happening. And one of the quiet but really powerful movements at St. Gregory's has been our advisory committee on race in response to um, the Black Lives Matter protests that were happening this summer and just the ongoing wound of racism in our nation. And so a group of us have gathered together and Patrick Carter has emerged as our, as our shepherd for that. And so Patrick, if you um, share with us a little bit about what's been happening, we'd appreciate it. Just like Gina, I think I wrote some things down just to keep it under uh, a time limit, but wanted to thank Father Andrew, Father Ben and the St. Gregory's Conversation on Race Team. And, and the reason I say team like everybody else, I think is it really was a team effort that everybody participated every week. But uh, being a part of the true name, the Wisdom and Justice, a conversation on race team since I think we started around August. We met every other Thursday night uh, was probably the highlight of the pandemic. And if you can actually say there was a highlight of the pandemic. Uh, I know some people would probably be hesitant uh, because of the nature of the conversation talking about race. But I think overall um, it came out very well. What I did is I came up with a few phrases and words that uh, typically came up right in the beginning. Uh, it's other people's issues. Some people have anxiety, stress, uh, oppression, privilege, structural. You've heard all these words before, implicit bias, equality, fear, diversity, minority, competition, power. I don't see color. Uh, you prejudging and complacency. What we did every week is we took someone of diverse, diverse color and someone white. And then what we did is we opened it up to questions. Father, Father Andrew is very cognizant of time, but I'd have to say one of the most impressive things that we did and we had is that we probably went over, unfortunately, every week. Um, the hour was, was kind of, we tried to compress it, but literally we went over hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes. The other thing I look at that I thought, uh, there were two other things I thought were really impressive were the, the quality of the questions and the honesty of the answers. Uh, and we were able to all grow in kind of a safe environment together and then also just the participation. I think we started, I don't want to say the true number, I didn't want to get anybody's names wrong or whatever else, but I think the original group we started with in August, every other week we had anywhere from 80 to 90%, either they zoomed in or they called in, or if they were in a car driving, they, they, they listened um, or, and participated that way. I would be remiss if I didn't give some of the positives that we got out of the conversations over the past couple of weeks. Um, not continuing the cycle, forgiveness, love, opening our hearts, different experiences, not prejudging, a safe place, growth, unity, uh, building relationships. I think we all became a lot closer. Um, and the reason I say that is I don't think it just became a conversation on race. It became a conversation that we all grew from uh, through the openness and compassion. The last night we had our meeting, which was Thursday, and I could not, I might not be saying this, verbatim, but I, I wanted to jot down a note, and I, this will get you into where I'm going, is uh, Father Harris said, be, we need to become leaders in life in our community, starting right here with the parish of St. Gregory's. With that, I'd like to say the wisdom and justice, a conversation on race team would like the opportunity to continue the conversation by expanding the team. I think we had about 18 to 19 people uh, and growing our community through listening, learning, and love of our parish and community through a conversation on race. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Um, and just to put a, a footnote uh, on, yeah, th thanks for the applause from various people too. Um, just to put a footnote on it, um, we'll be the, the, the circle uh, that Patrick's been leading, we'll be looking to put on a, an adult forum coffee hour on Zoom so that uh, you all as a congregation can, can enter into this conversation. Uh, and we'll also be looking to tap into some of the resources that are happening uh, nationally in the Episcopal Church about th these kind of conversations and building the beloved community, which has been uh, part of the leadership of our presiding bishop. So much more to come. Um, but thank you, Patrick, for sharing some words about it. Thank you for the opportunity.